What is up guys, today is Saturday, February 6th, about 10.30 in the morning. We woke up about two hours ago, got ready, cooked breakfast, cooked all my meals, prepped them. Now we're on our way to a speedo casting. We're hoping to get done with this casting within like 30 minutes. It's only a few, few more blocks away and then we're walking back. And then at 11.30 we're going to try to go to the animal shelter that's nearby here. Um, go to the orientation so we can be certified volunteers so we can kind of go to the animal shelter whenever we want. Pet the dogs, walk them, all that good stuff. So that's the plan for the morning. Check in with you guys after this. What is up guys? It's about one in the afternoon right now. It's about one in the morning. <laughs> Alright, let's try this over. What is up guys? It's 12.50 in the afternoon right now. We literally got back from the casting about 10 minutes ago. As you guys know, I said in the earlier clip, we were trying to go to the animal shelter today at 11.30 for orientation. But the casting, there was, I think we we're 50th in line, so we had to wait an hour and a half to get seen. But other than that, it went well for both of us. We had to do a little video. Right now, we're just kind of hanging out, waiting to go to the gym in probably about an hour or two. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the mold situation. Let me show you guys what we have going on now here. This isn't, we can throw this away now, but we're kind of just waiting to use it as evidence because we have, uh, the landlord's not very happy with us. She thinks that we're complaining way too much about this. But she got treated for a sinus infection about three days ago. We had to go to urgent care because she literally couldn't sleep one night. She had a huge headache. Her teeth started hurting in the back because of the congestion. And now I'm feeling the exact same way. My teeth hurt, my sinuses, my eyes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one's a little more swollen. So we're having some, uh, really big issues here. So we had to call someone up and they're gonna come inspect it Monday and hopefully we can get this taken care of really fast because I know now that I have a sinus infection as well. She already has antibiotics for it, but now I, I think I might have to go to urgent care uh, today or tomorrow to get antibiotics for myself. So this is a pretty bad situation, but we literally can't leave the, we, we can't like not have the AC on because it's way too hot in here. It gets way too humid and we're unable to sleep at night with the AC off just because it's so hot. So we're gonna try to figure that out. I'll definitely keep you guys updated in the later videos but that's what's going on so if the video is not if I'm not very enthusiastic in the video today you guys know why I am not feeling too well but nonetheless I'm gonna get this on film film the workout as well class class A bun she likes her bun get the side profile all right we are now not headed to the gym quite yet as you guys can tell if I worked out and this would be a rough workout but we are now going to urgent care to um, get antibiotics for me, hopefully. I tried to just wait, see if you feel better tomorrow, but I feel awful. So I just have a huge headache right now. My entire side of my face just hurts. My teeth hurt, like I said. So we're going to go do that, and then we're going to go to the gym. So hopefully. Urgent care, gym. I'll, ma I'll make her go. You feel better. I'm the one that should be. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that should be. I'm gonna go to the gym. We're gonna tape this workout. You guys are gonna. You guys are holding this to me. We're gonna go tape arms today, even though I feel awful. I feel like I just got punched in the face by like <laughs> ten people. Five right now. I think the gym closes at eight. I'm drinking my pre-workout right now, and then I'm making a rice cake back there with peanut butter on it uh, before I head to the gym. It's gonna be like a pre-workout snack. But I want to keep you guys up to date on abs, and then as well as my cardio sessions. So I've kept cardio the same. I've kept it at 15 to 25 minutes, four days a week for this entire week. So today I'm actually not gonna do abs. I'm still keeping those at five days a week for 20 minutes. Um, but I am going to do cardio today if I have time after the uh, arm workout. So like I said, the gym closes in like an hour and 50 minutes. So I'm going to get there, smash the arm workout, and hopefully have like 15 to 20 minutes of time left so I can do cardio either on the Stairmaster or the treadmill. Those are my two things I like to do. We have a new workout partner now. Nice. Gonna zoom in. Hey, friend. Hey, you want to come work out? We're hitting arms today. But we are about two minutes away from the gym right now. Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually gonna follow us. What is up guys? Today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the actual workout that I had today at Crunch Fitness in Miami Beach. So I warmed up with the Preacher Curl machine. I really enjoy warming up with machines and I worked out with Courtney today and she likes the machines as well just to warm up with. So after we did the warm ups on the tricep machine and on the bicep machine, we did more warm ups for the first actual exercise of the workout which was tricep rope pull downs. As you guys know from my last arm workout, you guys know that I really, really love um, and believe in uh, tricep pull downs, any kind of pull downs. Today was ropes though, we didn't actually do any flat bar pull downs. 
I think it really builds the thickness of your tricep. So we started with this. And another thing to note, I am starting with triceps. I always start with triceps because my triceps are weak points. So for example, if you guys have weak biceps, do the first exercise of your arm routine as a bicep workout. So that's just a suggestion for you guys. You guys can um, definitely choose what you prefer, but I always like to start with triceps to just get the most uh, burn out of them right off the bat. But right here, I think we did five sets of 12 reps the last set um, was being was a burnout set, which you guys are going to see right here in a second. Um, I just pretty much stripped the weight down, I think 50%, and did a burnout for the last set. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep your elbows locked in on this. Make sure you're not going up too high, just past 90. I'm on in this right here. You guys can see I'm going a little bit past 90 degrees with my uh, on the way up but I'm keeping everything in control. And right here, you guys are seeing the drop set that I did. Just dropped it about 50% of the weight and just burned out. I couldn't really get much reps, honestly. I think I got eight on this burnout set just because I was super exhausted and I really felt it in my triceps. Immediately after this, we moved actually just across from the cable machine and we started doing overhead tricep rope pulls. Uh, I really suggest this or another variation of this exercise is the dumbbell, seated dumbbell uh, extension. And I really like the rope with the cable attached to it just because I think I can get a lot more control with the, uh, the weight and it's all in a set motion because it's connected to the cable so I just really like getting that really nice burn and the constant tension on my triceps here same thing with this we did five sets the fifth set was followed by a burnout set dropping the weight by about 50 percent and then we moved straight into flat bar barbell curls this was pretty good. I think we did another 12 reps, the same exact set, uh, rep and set scheme, guys. So we did five sets, 12 reps each, and then the final set was actually a burnout set, which you guys are going to see right here. I kind of switched my grip up, and I actually used a different bar for the burnout set. You guys are going to see. But on here, pretty much keep your elbows tucked as much as you can. I like to grip it shoulder width apart, not too much, not too narrow, not too wide, just right at shoulder width. It gets me a really good pump, really good burn. So uh, right here is the actual, actually this is, I'll do one more set right here, and then this is where the drop set comes in. There's not really a reason why I use the easy bar or the curl bar um, for my drop set or burnout set. I was just right, it was available to me, it was a perfect weight, so I just grabbed it. I grabbed the narrow grip. I suggest you guys on all bicep workouts and tricep workouts, hit them with as much different angles as possible. So as you guys can see, I'm hitting them with a little bit of a more narrow grip here and just totally burning out. And then the next thing, we moved immediately to a second exercise for the biceps which was alternating dumbbell curls. As you guys can see, I said in my last arm video, I do like alternating either every two reps or sometimes I'll do every uh, rep, but I do like to alternate every two reps most of the time just to get that and avoid swinging and stuff like that. So as you guys are seeing, very lightweight. I think I did almost 30 reps or 15 on each side uh, for these curls right here. And we did five sets, higher reps for this. Um, we did do actually a burnout set, the very last set as well. So everything has been a burnout set today, guys. Anyways, um, at the end of this footage, you guys are going to see a little bit of a posing update. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the posing. I didn't really take a look at of it, uh, take a look at it until I got home and actually uh, just now started editing the video. So. I'm happy with the progress so far. I do still need a little bit more work. I'm happy with the size that I'm maintaining and I'm really especially happy with how much my waist is slimming down compared to my shoulders and stuff because I'm really just trying to keep that V shape as much as I can. I'm trying to build it every single day I go to the gym. It's just all about that V shape and building my arms because I know my waist is pretty uh, narrow. It's like I can get it down to a 30 if I really diet down, but uh, just for this, I'm trying to get down to a 31, guys. Keep that uh, the width in the shoulders as much as possible and keep that thickness in the arms as much as possible. Anyways, I'm going to let the rest of the workout play out, guys. I'm going to put the rest of the workout in the description as well, so if you guys did want to follow it, you guys will have that available to you. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you next time.